Hey, Robert Kiefer here with Hydro Hero, and today we're going to be talking about drainage in the crawl space. We're going to show you how we do it, just one of our many ways, and we hope you like this video. All right, so we've covered uh, drainage quite a bit. So here we go. We're going to explain what's going on here. So again, the water that comes into a crawl space or a basement, but particularly we're speaking about crawl spaces, comes in um, from outside. It seeps into the soil. It goes underneath the footer and then rises back up around the footer. Now, if you just put a sub pump somewhere here, it will not collect all the water that is coming through the entire crawl space and magically find its way to a sub pump. You must have drainage or drain tile installed next to the footer, right down next to, right beside the footer, not on top of the footer, right? It actually needs to be down by the footer, right? So this one has a little tiny footer in there. So the there is uh, gravel that's laid all the way around after we dug this trench deep down, right? And then put in this four inch perforated pipe. And then we all, then you'll see as we go through here, right? You see this goes all the way around. This is to carry the water to the sub pump. It's extremely important that this gets done. You can see here's where you come in the crawl space. Uh, if we put in an access, I'm not sure if we're going to put in one of our custom accesses or not. We'll actually drill down and then we'll have a pipe that ties right into here to drain the access well so it doesn't flood over the crawl space door and then get into this drain tile pipe and then be taken to the sub pump to be pumped way far away from the foundation. All right, so here's the basin. You have the pipe coming inside the basin and it's cut and you can't see from this picture but the pipe goes in the basin right so it's not obstructed and the water can easily flow right into that basin then the sub pump will get installed there and that will take it out so it's extremely important a lot of companies uh, are trying to not um, cut into the basin and bring the pipe in and they're just terminating it early it will not find its way to the pump fast enough and you'll have a failure and you'll have your crawl space flooded out again. So make sure this pipe gets tied all the way through uh, the sub pump basin. And we'll go through another picture here. You can see it goes all along the wall down next to the footer, right? All the way. Now, here's the interesting thing. You can see where all the, the water line is and this is efflorescence, this white part right here. This is a complete uh, job that got encapsulated. I'll make another video from beginning to end what it looks like. There is a spray foam on the wall here. There was no uh, drain tile or, or any type of waterproofing system, uh, drainage system put in here. So they encapsulated the crawl space and this is a high, this area is very well known to flood and there was no um, waterproofing um, done there. So the crawl space encapsulation failed. And guess what? The company is out of business, so they couldn't do any type of warranty work. And the job was done sloppy. There was mold growing everywhere. So we ended up having to rip all this out and start fresh. So you can imagine the cost of uh, hiring a, you know, somebody who, you know, it's not in business or, or you got a cheap job or they didn't, necessarily even be cheap but just has no clue what they're actually doing so you can see this drain pipe still going all the way around goes everywhere right you dig the trench deep down everywhere right then it's all covered with um with a stone aggregate all the way around it this way the water that comes up through there or even above if it came through it all goes into that drain tile it's filtered out um, all the dirt and gets into the drain tile, which easily makes it water flow into the uh, sub pump. You can see all that stone is going to be there. We do not cover the drain pipe up with the soil that's there. All this will be graded and uh, flat as can be. We just started this project, but um, you definitely never want to uh, put the soil back on top of the drainage or else uh, that will cause it to fail early. 
and you can see how we got it right there. You can see how the um, how it's being covered up as the guys are going along, right? But this is a good solid drain system. Uh, this is just one of the drain systems that we install. This is uh, the sub pump lid. Um, we haven't installed the sub pump yet. We just got in the drain tile today. But one of the if you're if you're going to do anything about your crawl space, the first thing you should do is invest in a good drainage system, right? If you have your crawl space encapsulated without a good drainage system, you have a vapor barrier down. It's meant to stop um, moisture from wicking from the ground up, right? It's not meant to stop bulk water. If you want to deal with bulk water, you need a dewatering system, which is a waterproofing system or a drainage system, right? And that's you're going to need a sub pump, drain tile, and all that to um, remove all the bulk water as it comes in. That is the best way. That's on the negative side. You can also take care of it on what we call the positive side, which is the exterior. But usually that's much, much more costly when you're dealing with landscapes and porches and all kinds of stuff like that. So typically it's much cheaper and easier to handle if you do it on the negative side or the interior of the crawl space. So that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to know more about drainage systems and crawl spaces or basements, especially crawl spaces, give Hydro Hero a call at 302-321-7077. And thank you so much for watching.